So what's going on YouTube? Silent Speed 19. Um, haven't done a video in quite some time now due to the fact that I have major work. But I'm gonna try to start updating from uploading or making some new videos for you guys. So you guys could have some content to watch. Now it might not be the best content there is on YouTube. But I will, I will try my best. Um, so I just want to give you guys a little update on this Duratrax. So I just came back from my park. In, um, in my area, um, just took it for a run after like a, probably like three weeks or so, and um, something stripped. Something stripped really bad. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm about to open it up to see to see what it is. Now, if you guys can last recall, this had happened before. Um, it happened to the rear, the rear diffs. Now I know that it's a diff that went bad. But I don't know. I don't quite know which one it is yet, um, because after that I was a little frustrated, and then I, I know I, I just came came all came right home. Um, but we will we'll find out together. Oh, okay, we we will find out together right now, and we'll see what's wrong. So give me a second. Let me just plug everything back up, and maybe you guys might be able to help me out. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys. So I got the battery plugged in. Um, ESC's on everything as you guys can see my servo and everything works good. It's a very slow servo I'm gonna have to upgrade that soon, but that's not where you know my priorities are right now But I will in due time. I will get myself a new server. So I'm a uh, so check it out guys This is what's happening right now It's a nasty sound but As you can see the rear is not getting any power and the front, the front diff is just pinned into sh Even the front is not getting any power. So, seems as though it's the, it's the center diff. Now, I thought as much that it was a center without looking at it earlier. And I tried to Google it online to see if Tower Hobbies might have some. Seeing this is where I purchased the truck from. I mean the buggy. Or, um, or maybe Hobbycore any RC shops pretty much online worldwide or in my local area it turns out that, that I, they don't sell it pre-made um, what it is they have the bevel gears that they sell in a set that I can use to replace the current bevel gears in this in inside this one now um, that was the same problem with my rear diff um, I'm hoping that's the the problem with that so maybe I can get an order in. Now when I checked it on Tower Hobbies, I had to wait till mid-July. Um, we're kind of in July, we're coming towards the middle of July. So hopefully they have some in stock. Now, if you guys can recall, Tower Hobbies did send me some um, a replacement rear diff, like the complete set, um, of which I have no idea where it is. Actually, it's right here. Um, this is it right here. This is the older diff because obviously the new one I had to. I just I went to my local RC mechanic and he pretty much installed it for me. Um, let me get this out really quick. All right, so this is the original one that came with the truck in the rear. Now there was just one bevel gear that was stripped. The other one is perfectly fine. Now I'm hoping, and they're identical actually, so they're they're irreplaceable. Um, they're replaceable for. Sorry about that. So hopefully there's just I'm hoping that there's just one of the two of the pair of gears that are damaging this, and then I can just you know use this in the place of that. Um, yeah. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. If there's anyone out there with this truck um, and have experienced similar problems with it, or maybe similar mishaps. Um, and you guys found a way to solve it permanently or maybe more effectively because now the, the back went now the center went I hope the front doesn't go afterwards um, if Tower Hobbies or, or, the, or Dirt Tracks is, could see this video I hope you guys see what I'm going through I've had the tr truck less than two months now and you know I think it's too much trouble you know in just the space of two months to have an RC but I guess that's all the fun in it. Um, this is my first eight, eight scale buggy. Um, my experience so far is maybe 50 50. Um, so, yeah, um, I did manage to get a short run video because the truck it probably ran for like two minutes and then that happened. 
So um, if you guys want to see it, I will upload it. Um, I forgot to, to stop the video after the truck stopped running and for the for the remaining of the videos just me flying my little um, drone Q4 Pro from Radio Shack just to kill some time because it, it's like f almost like six blocks to, to the park and to spend only five to ten minutes to come back you know it's it was kind of a waste of time so good good, good thing I took my helicopter now this this actually flew, flew pretty damn good um, counting that we had some some wins um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. There's my Russell always in the background and the, the supposedly 4x4 Russeller. So um, tell me what you guys think. Um, I look forward to your comments. Um, please like this video if you did like it. And comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks a lot guys.